it was the fault of a policeman who couldn't stand a black man standing up for his rights right in his face. Sergeant Crowley, who, by the way, teaches a course on racial profiling at the police academy, teaches a course on racial profiling, he's saying, you're not going to get an apology from me because I didn't do anything wrong. Is what if Sergeant Crowley had not been the model policeman who taught diversity classes, who had given mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to a famous black athlete? What if at some point in his career or in his life, he had been accused, falsely or not, of racism? His life would be ruined right now when we know this wasn't a case of racism. Um, we know that now, but we have, it's only because he's the model policeman that the case fell apart and all of the usual race mongers are saying, let's move on, let's move on. I don't want to move on so fast fast as long as they brought it up it's just not the and, way and to let's go, also not opinion. sit here and read a police account and automatically assume that it is absolutely oh, no, positively did. No, correct 100 no. percent that's a good but point because yeah, but he could point, also Roland, have his own spin but it's for his own purposes but Roland, it's the record I i don't know not having been there and not seeing all the facts what role race played in that but I think it's fair to say, number one, any of us would be pretty angry. Number two, that the Cambridge police uh, acted stupidly in arresting somebody when they, there was already proof that they were in their own home. And number three, what I think we know separate and apart from this incident, is that uh, there is a long history in this country of African Americans and Latinos uh, being stopped by law enforcement disproportionately. And that, that's just a fact. tell you I was surprised that he used that stupidly phrase this is I've followed him for so many years Chris he's usually so in control to see something to to say something that is a kind of a radioactive phrase that could just curl out into the talk show and blogosphere universe and also you could be judgmental without having used that kind of language the president today engaged in perfect political choreography this president, I think, has exposed himself as a guy over and over and over again who has a deep-seated hatred for white people or the white culture. I don't know what it is. I would like to come back to the question of how did this become a presidential-level subject of conversation. I try to ask you to imagine, A, Dwight Eisenhower being asked a question about a local police episode in Cambridge, Massachusetts, or B, Dwight Eisenhower being foolish enough to answer the question. Oh, there are right. some but can we say something about the press There here? are some <laughs> things this that is, are none of the in, president's in a way, business. This is the president Obama said that the actions of the CPD were stupid and linked the event to a history of history of racial profiling in America. The facts of this case suggest that the president used the right adjective but directed it to the wrong party.